Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and today we're looking at Bitdefender Mobile Security and Antivirus. Now I'm not going to, uh, I'm not about to preach to you that um, we have a huge malware problem and, and virus problem uh, for Android. Um, however, it does exist, and I, but I do think that if you're using the Google Play Store and uh, or Amazon, uh, you shouldn't really have a problem. Now. That doesn't mean an app like this can't serve a good purpose, uh, especially if it's not a huge cost. And there are a lot of other things about it that uh, that'll really, uh, as you'll see, will make a lot of sense to you, other than the uh, actual malware scanner. And plus, there are some apps that really aren't malicious, but will be uh, will that will cause a lot of aggravation for you as far as um, pushing notifications and apps. And 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 an app like this can can help you uh, stop those. Again, they're not necessarily malicious uh, or going to cause you any problems, uh, but you don't want to deal with them either. Now, the app in itself is, is very simple. Um, this is, like I said, the premium version, and they do offer it for free, and with it you would get the malware scanner and the application audit, which I'll get into, and also to locate your phone. Uh, but for $9.95 a year, which is actually one of the... Uh, makes Bitdefender one of the cheaper ones out there. There are a lot of other um, companies out there that makes app, make apps such as these, but, but they are do, do seem to be a lot higher. Of course, they do have some more options as well, but um, I think Bitdefender gives you, um, you know, what you need uh, to get started. All right, so let's just go into each of these areas. Uh, and like I said, it's very simple to use. You can go into the scanner here, and it's just it's quite simple. Um, you can turn on your, uh, if you have micro SD, you can turn that on or off if you want that to be scanned. And you just simply start scanning. Now, I don't have a lot of apps on this particular device, so it's not going to take long, but it, doesn't, it really doesn't take long anyways. Uh, it's not something that is going to take 10 minutes or any of that stuff. And right there, it's telling you no malware was detected, and if there were, was something, it would uh, appear. Now, the application audit uh, is, a, is an area here where, as you know, when you download apps and install them, there are certain permissions that each app require. And uh, many of us just, just go ahead and download and click OK. But if there's ever a time where you want to take a look at all your apps and see you know, what each one has access to in a quick fashion, you can do that here. Like I said, I don't have a lot of apps here, but you can see that there's, and the first one is the Internet. The second one is a privacy control, which means it could hit your contacts, things like that. Uh, and then there's if there's costs associated with you can see antivirus here for Bitdefender has a cost associated with it, uh, obviously because you can do an in-app purchase uh, to upgrade. Uh, but by the way, you get it for 15 days for free to try out the full uh, premium version to see if you like it. Uh, you can also go ahead and just show me just the internet ones or just the privacy control ones, whatever you want to do, and you know simplify. Now you can also tap on the app and it will bring you to what you can normally get to anyway as far as you know with with stock Android um, or your manufacturer's UI you can go right into any app from your settings and uh, look at the app like for force stopping it or whatever or uninstalling and you can see the permissions you know here now exactly what they are this particular page is just giving you a quick guide to see and then you can then go further which is a nice feature now web security is it's simple you either put it turn it on or off and uh, this will alert you if you're going to a web page that could be potentially dangerous now let's actually try that um, let me go to the um, well actually let me just go here go right to the uh, internet now this seems to only work on the stock browser um, Obviously, Talk Android, uh, hopefully, that's a good site, and it is. Thankfully, no warnings there. Um, it doesn't see, w won't work in Chrome, even if you set it as a default for certain actions. Uh, so we'll only work with the stock browser. But I'm just going to go ahead and paste in a uh, URL that I know to be dangerous. And it will go ahead. And there's your warning right there. So this is telling you, take me back safely, or I understand and I don't really care let me go further. It could take me back safely and again it's going to ask me um, 
what browser to use but even if you if you set Chrome from what I can see it doesn't appear to um, and I just got a blank page here it doesn't appear to uh, work within that um, so and I haven't tried any of the other browsers but I assume it's only going to be for stock now let's go back to the app here and uh, oops let's just do it this way alright so now the next thing, and I think this is really important, uh, they do sell this as a standalone as well app, but uh, it's built into this with the premium version. This adds for $9.95 a month. Um, you get the anti-theft, which is, you know, very important. We all could lose our phone at any time, or it could get stolen, and you can do some things remotely, um, which you know like lock it or sometimes you even lose your phone in the house and you need to get a sound going on it and I can show you that as as well so you go into this area and actually you'll have a, it'll set when you first go in it'll uh, prompt you to set up a pin number so nobody can fool around with this so um, and right now I've already set it up and everything is turned on you could obviously turn these off if you want remote wipe lock and again that's only going to be if you send a uh, a signal to do any of these things and you can also configure uh, SMS control you can leave it on and you can also set a trusted number uh, so if if, a, if your phone does have a SIM and a SIM is removed and a new one is put in you, the trusted number will receive a text message uh, that 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 happened and uh, you'll you'll get that information uh, as well but let's just now over here you can see there's a certain um, there's some text uh, commands that you could send from any phone. It doesn't have to be a trusted phone. It actually could be uh, any phone. And I'll actually um, go ahead and, and grab this phone right here. And I'm going to um, go ahead and send a lock command, which I already did. And it's quite simple. BD, and it doesn't matter if the first one's capitalized or not. Um, and your pin which my pin right now is 111 and there's like locate lock and different things as you saw there and I'm gonna just put um, lock so I'm gonna go ahead and send it right now and um, the you saw the display went right off that means it got locked right away and I'll actually I got a uh, return text message saying the device was locked so now what happens is uh, when I go to open this up, I'll have to hit the pin to get in. Now I know you. Now, uh, first of all, I recommend that you guys use a pin all the time, um, but that's a whole other story uh, for security. But I know a lot of people don't uh, because it can be a pain. I understand. So at least you can remotely send a signal to do this. Now this will work only once. Once you've opened up or uh, you know unlocked it you don't need to use the pin anymore so assuming whoever's got your phone they're not going to be able to open it anyway if they get the code then they get the code <laughs> I don't think they're going to but uh, it's only a one-time thing and so there are other things here that you can send uh, as well as you can see you can even wipe your device uh, as well if you if you uh, so wish now the other thing I meant is web control now I'm going to grab a um, Nexus 7 here and just to give you a similar uh, you know what it looks like for the desktop version we're just going to use this and there's some different things that you can set up uh, over here like dashboard and stuff when you create an account you'll create an account but right now it's showing me actually where the phone's located right on here so you'd get that from your desktop and over here there are actions so let's say for example I want to send a uh, message oops a message to the device and I'll just put down test I should put like return my phone and you can even do a play a, a sound alarm so if you've let's say you've lost your phone in your house and you know it's in your house or something you just don't know where it is but it's on vibrate uh, and you need to make a, have it make a noise you can do that so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send the alert and there it is there's the message that I sent and the noise will go off until someone hits OK so, I guess you could do that to your criminal friend too. Uh, I could probably annoy him pretty good, but they, assuming uh, lock it first though, <laughs> so that way uh, they can't get to it. Um, 
and you can also uh, lock the device from here as well. Now in this particular version of the lock um, you can actually choose the pin so I can actually change it now and I'll just go one two three four so it doesn't have to be um, the pin code that I create uh, that I created from within the app so I'm going to go ahead and lock it and right away the display went off turn it on and you can see now it's going to be one two three four bingo we're done so that's really cool now here's the other thing that's quite interesting also now what happens if somebody had access to this you figure alright I'll un uninstall this thing you're not going to be able to do it um, well, actually, let me show you about that PIN code for a second. When you go into anti-theft and you want to uh, change something, uh, you can say change your requested number. There you go. That's the PIN I was talking about, the 111. Uh, you have to put that in in order to make any changes in the anti-theft area of the app. Okay, so uh, let's just say you want to go into um, go in the settings of the device and go into apps and you want to go in and uninstall it you can see there isn't any, even an option to force stop it or uninstall in fact this won't be an app that you'll be able to you have to actually log out of your account in order to uninstall it so going back to the app going back to the main screen here Once I click log out, then you, you can do it. So that's really, you would enter the pin code right here and then log out and you're done. So that's, that's how it would work. Then you can actually uninstall the app. So you can see it's pretty secure. Uh, and if, this phone, if your phone gets into the wrong hands, you don't have to worry about your data. Uh, at all being uh, you know seen and that's that's really the most important thing so you can see I spent the most time on this area of the app and I think it's the coolest and makes it really worthwhile at the 995 a year you get all these things you get a little peace of mind and um, oh and I forgot one th I forgot you know to actually go ahead and install an app that could be a problem like I said if you use the uh, Play Store uh, you shouldn't have any problems but as far as malicious apps but there are apps that can be a nuisance like for example let's just go to the uh, Play Store uh, whoops and I actually had downloaded a few apps to try this out now I'm gonna go into which Sudoku uh, puzzles and when you install an app uh, it'll basically tell you it's uh, safe right when it installs and in this particular one I know that this one has a lot of push ads and it's going to be a nuisance from what I've heard <laughs> so um, I don't use the app but I found it so I'm going to go ahead and um, install it and um, accept go ahead and that'll install now and it always does a quick scan and if it's okay it'll give you a message at the bottom but if there's a potential problem there you go I can quickly on it it's telling me right now that this is uh, it has aggressive adware again this isn't malicious but it's gonna be a pain and apps like these you see comments uh, that there's a lot of ads being pushed and things like that so it's not anything that's going to create a problem for you but it's uh, it's a nuisance so right away you say ah I don't want this at all uninstall it done and it'll uninstall now let's just go ahead and uh, well actually let me show you one thing here now there are a couple of apps here that were a problem now nothing is a hundred percent as you can imagine and I know this one is a problem this app here and it didn't detect anything now that doesn't mean uh, to not get an app like this again nothing is a hundred percent even myself so the bottom line is you want to catch things and make things easier for you uh, but don't always expect that everything is going to be 100%. But, you know, you're, you're going to detect 90, 95% of the bad stuff out there. So let me just go into, for a regular app, for example, let's just say, um, if I could spell or type, 
let's just do slacker radio which I don't think I have installed on this which I want to get installed I'll go ahead and install this and uh, as soon as it installs you'll see at the bottom that it cleared it's a quick uh, thing it'll, it'll probably give say that also an icon was created and whatever but uh, it's installing it now so it's successfully installed shortcut created and there you go application is clean as you would expect with slacker uh, radio so anyways so that's that's pretty much it um, it is a uh, really clean simple app and uh, the cost isn't all that big at 995 a year and um, you know I, I definitely recommend it again I'm not gonna sit here and say that you are gonna have a huge problem with uh, malicious things as long as you use the Play Store that's what I recommend um, but um, and as you can see I did spend uh, what I was saying before I, I did spend a lot of time in the anti-theft area because I think that is the, one of the coolest features actually I do uh, obviously the scanner is cool to get rid of any ad type apps so you don't get stuck with any of those and you know the malware scanner is always good for peace of mind but the anti-theft area I think is probably the strongest point for an app like this and uh, it gives you peace of mind that if you misplace your phone you can grab another phone a friend's phone send a text message to it lock it do whatever you need to do locate where it is and maybe find the people and of course if you just misplaced it hopefully it's not going to get in the hands of a criminal or anything like that but or someone that's going to try to use your data but you never know so